All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. I'm going to start at the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So I really want to harp on the point of Apostle Paul saying, fight the good fight of faith. Because in this walk, this is a battle. Okay? This is a battle and this is also our personal test. Okay? We are being proved, right, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We are being tried as gold through the fire to see if we are, uh, you know, to see if we are that precious jewel as he needs us to be. All right. So we are getting we are getting, uh, you know, tried through the fire to get out, to get out what to get out them impurities, you know. And when we go to go through different things. Okay, these different things are our our own test. Okay? You got to look at everything that's happening in your life as a test. Okay? Because these things are to try us. Okay? To, to try or to test our faith. To try to test our patience. To try to test our humility. Okay? All, all above. Okay? You know how we used to do... Uh, like tests in school with the questions and they say is the answer a b c d or all of the above yes all of the above look at everything everything that's happening around in your life these things are to try you okay now i want to get this and like i said i'm just i'm just going through the spirit okay <clears throat> As the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, says, start at the top. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So this is one of the things you must know entering into this truth. All right. Because the scriptures talk about counting the cost. Well, you must know that when you come to serve the Lord, when you come to serve the true power, the heavenly father, Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten son, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, you better pre prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? You better prepare to be tempted because you're going to be tempted and you're going to be tempted by many things. Okay? You're going to be tempted by what? Yo, the, uh, the things that you desire the most. This is where the spiritual demon Satan comes into play in. Right? You will be tried by the different things that you desire the most. <laughs> Believe it or not. <clears throat> so verse 2, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. So the scriptures say constantly endure because this is going to be a continuous. You're going to be going through continuous things. It's going to be what? It's going to be ongoing. So you must what? Constantly endure. Now. The scriptures say he won't put nothing on you, okay, which you can't bear. So the Lord already know what you can handle and what you can't handle. You're being put through it because he know you can get out of it. He know that you can make it through it. So I says that he puts nothing on you that you cannot bear. Once again, it goes back to what? A test. You see? So it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. So even when do trouble come upon you, don't make haste. Don't run from it. No, we got we to gotta, we gotta fight this head on. Okay? We got to fight it head on. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Look at the story of Job. Look at the hell Job went through. The scripture says Job kept his integrity. He dealt with what he had to deal with. You see? But see, that was his test of faith. And you know what Job lost? He lost his riches. 
His woman kicked him when he was down. He lost his children, his friends. He was being mocked and people turned against him. You think certain things don't happen, happen like this to brothers in the truth? Huh? Yes. Brothers in laws, homes, jobs, vehicles, careers. But F that. Okay, because we know the greater glory is, is coming. You know, because all these different things is temporal. And at the time of Job, all that was temporary. Because guess what? He got all that back, hundredfold. You know, I, I believe it was tenfold. Something to that effect. Uh, he was increased. Let me just say that. He was increased in the latter end. Because he stood the test. He passed the test. You see, and this is what we are hoping to do. The scripture says, he that endureth unto the end, the same should be saved. Ain't that what we want? Ultimately, don't we want salvation? We want to escape the oncoming destruction, and we hope and we pray that our family may make it out as well. And I'm talking about our household, whether it's your, your, your wife and your children, and for your wife, you, you, you believe in wives, for your husband. Y'all children, you know, this will be fighting for salvation. Don't don't forget it. OK. So verse four says, whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You best believe uh, following uh, uh, this walk of righteousness. OK, you are going to be. Uh, uh, brought to a low estate because these things are to what these things are to try you these things are to what to make you better T these these things are happening so that you uh, uh, can, so you could uh, show your uh, your faith and your how about me I'll shy even more of how much you're going to lean upon him you see and even though these different things are brought upon us and, and when it does come upon us, of course, we don't like it. It don't feel good, but it's not supposed to feel good. It's supposed to make you uh, feel uncomfortable. Okay? It's supposed to put you in a mindset of, I'm going to lean upon you. How about you? I was shy. It's supposed to put you in these, it's supposed to uh, change uh, the way you think, the way you operate. Okay? But don't get it twisted. Things are going to come upon you. But you must understand. And when you get deeper into the scriptures rooted, what? That, okay, I'm being, I'm, being, I'm being tested. I'm being chastised. You know? But this thing is for, for the better. Because the scriptures also say what? Uh, uh, um, um, roughly paraphrasing, who he, ch who he chastised, he receives as sons. So if you ain't going through shit, you looked at as what? A bastard. A fatherless child. And we don't want to be that. Okay, because remember, a father is a covering of the household. And we need that covering from Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shai. So verse 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of, ad furnace of adversity. Okay? Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy, order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. So we got to wait for the Lord's mercy. We got to endure all the bullshit. But don't go aside, lest ye fall. It says, uh, ye that fear the Lord, believe, believe in him, and your, war, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good, for the everlasting joy and mercy. But you see what, you see, uh, you know, um, Three times from 7, 8, and 9, the 7, 8, and 9 verse, what did it say? Fear the Lord. You see? For this, for this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So verse 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did ever... Or, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering and very pitiful and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in a time of affliction. Remember, 
This devil's about to come down with great wrath because he knows we got a short time. Affliction is about to come upon us. What we must do, we must continue to trust in Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shai. Because he's the one to save us in a time of affliction. He is the one to save us in a time of trouble. But we must continue to what? To serve him in all faith, truth, and sincerity. Okay? Just a quick hit through the spirit, Lord, but I hope it was edifying. Until next time, I want to say, Shalom.